uh, because Alexei was now staying home more, eh, he was getting older, wiser. You know how it is when we get older, we get wise, right? Uh, look at how we vote, we're so wise. Well, anyway, um, he was putting on weight, and uh, so he was spending more time in the capital where the enemies of Nikon kept pointing out to him, look at the patriarch, how he goes about. He goes about with retainers and drums and canopies and great fanfare and regalia and everything. And people think he is the ruler of the state. And it's true. Most of the Muscovites thought he was in charge of Russia because that's the person they'd been seeing for decades, not the Tsar. Well, um, Alexis began to have little arguments and they got bigger arguments and pretty soon they had screaming matches and you know their relationship was breaking down. That's what was happening. Too bad, but it did. And finally, uh, <laughs> finally they say, finally there was a, a rift between them. Well, uh, Gossip said the rift was because the Tsar, who was married, his Tsarina was uh, Maria, but she was uh, a chronically ill woman and wouldn't live very long, it was apparent. And he had taken up with the teenage Natalia Narishkin. Well, and of course there's some people, all the old farts, who just hate anybody that's having fun who's their age. You know, Can't stand it. They're doing something sinful. Well, uh, you know, there was this sort of chatter going around, and then, of course, uh, Alexei uh, did have this affection for this girl, he had absolute passion for her, but the rift, they say, was because Nikon also had a passion for her, because Natalia could soothe his headaches. I guess that's a, <laughs> a euphemism for something, but uh, whatever the case, uh, you know, as I say, the, the gossip said, no, they hate each other, they're beginning to hate each other over the girl. Well, it, that happens. Finally, it all broke down for Nikon. Uh, the Tsar the, uh, withdrew all of his support. He took away all of Nikon's, uh, his palace, his incomes, his appointments, uh, his revenues, his churches, his position of patriarch, devoted him to being the simple monk that he'd first met banish him to a remote monastery. But Nikon continued to bellow at him over that distance and write nasty letters to him as long as they both lived. It was sort of funny. He was always castigating Alexei for being undignified. How could he do this and bring down the credit of the Tsar by dallying with a child? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> by the time Nikon was done with it, it was a babe in the cradle. <laughs> no, no, no. Now everybody that knows anything knows better. Uh, but uh, it's true, uh, in 1672, the uh, Tsarina Maria died. And immediately, within weeks, Alexei had married Natalia Nereshkina. She was 16, he was 42, which in that day and age, he could have been her grandfather. 